Hello guys, welcome to Romta Solutions. Welcome to your Grito Euclidean Geometry lesson. Today we're looking at the midpoint theorem. There are many ways of proving the midpoint theorem and we'll take one that is using similarity of triangles. So as you can see, we are given triangle ABC and also that triangle uh, line DE is parallel to BC. Okay, so we will prove that DE is half BC. Okay, so the midpoint theorem says the line joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle is parallel to the third side. As you can see, it's parallel to the third side and equals half the length of the third side. When you use this theorem, you will say the reason is a midpoint theorem. So, Let's read it again. The line joining the midpoint of two sides of the triangle is parallel to the third side and equals half the length of the third side. So as you can see, point D is midpoint of AB. Point E is midpoint of AC. Okay? Again, DE is parallel to EC. Now, for this, we need to prove... We need to prove that DE is equal to half the length of BC, the third side. In other words, BC is half, rather DE is half BC. Okay, so please finish writing here, and then I'm going to go to the next page. Let me give you 10 seconds. Or since you are on YouTube, maybe we can go to the next page. Okay, so... Or should I just do it here? Okay, let me do it here using a different color. I will say, I want you to look at this triangle here. I want you to see something. I will say our proof, we're not constructing anything. I will say in triangle ABC and triangle ABD. I want you to see this. Agree with me that angle A is equal to angle A, which is common angle. All right? Again, you can also agree with me that angle A, D, A. All right? You can agree with me that angle A, D, E is equal to angle B. Let's look at it. Angle A, D, E is this angle here. I'm saying it is equal to angle B. What's the reason? The reason is corresponding angles cos D, E is parallel to B, C. Right? Similarly, angle A, E, D, angle A, E, D is equal to angle C. A reason being Okay, they are corresponding angles, all right? They are corresponding angles because GE is parallel to BC. Let's get it. The AED is this angle here. It is equal to angle C, all right? They are corresponding angles. Remember, cochlea is fine. Corresponding angles make an F shape. All right? Corresponding angles make an F shape. Okay? All right. So if we were able to prove that the angles are equal, let's go. So we have, let's see, try, let's say, therefore, triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle a, which angle is similar to, is equal to angle B, it's angle D, so it will be A, D, and of course, A, D, E. Therefore, what's the reason? Triple A, right? The reason is triple A. 
at the resonance triple A. I do understand that when you're looking at it, you're wondering why are you comparing them? It's okay to compare them like this, right? It's okay to compare them like this, all right? It's okay to compare them like this. So these are similar <coughs> triangles, right? These are similar triangles. Now, what we know as well is also this angle other side AB is equal to side AD plus another AB is equal to length AD plus length DB. All right? It's given. It's a fact. All right? Now, we also know that AD is equal to DB, and this is given. All right? This is given. As you can see, it's given because it's a midpoint. Therefore, what does it say? It therefore says to us that we can say AB is equal to 2AD, if you like. Okay? It is equal to 2AD. We can therefore conclude and say AD over AB is equal to half. Is that okay? Perfect. Now, having said that, we can also now say, we also know that DE over uh, BE is equal to AD over AB. I'm going to take you that. DE was DE. Here's DE over BC. So these are corresponding sides. Right? Is equal to AB over other AD over AB. Why am I saying that? I'm saying this because we have said triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADE. If you recall, one of the rules of similarity from grade 11 was that when triangles are similar, corresponding sides are in proportion. Right? Corresponding sides are in proportion. Pairs, rather, pairs of corresponding sides are in proportion. Right? Pairs of corresponding sides are in proportion. Okay? Having said that, you can now see DE over B. Oh, boy. DE over... Why did I say DE over BE? My mistake. It should be DE over BC. <clears throat> DE over BC. My mistake. DE over BC. Let's go. Yeah. DE over BC is equal to AD over AB. Right? So, we then say, what was AD over BD? We found that it is half. All right? We found that it is half. All right? It is half. Having said that, we can therefore conclude and say, therefore, DE is equal to half times BC. Can you guys see that? When we multiply by BC throughout, we will find that DE is equal to BC. So we were able to prove midpoint theorem using this similarity rules. Right? DE is equal to <clears throat> half BC. Sorry. DE is equal to half BC. So we were able to prove this theorem. You will also have a proof from grid 10 as well. Remember from grid 10, you were able to prove this theorem. So now that you're in grid 12, um, and basically here, we have used grade 11 knowledge, all right? But you will also have grade 10 knowledge of proving this theorem, okay? You need two videos on this theorem. 
but I believe this is it. And yeah, this is it. So this is your midpoint theorem. You are able to prove it. So with that being said, oh, should we look at the converse? Should we look at the converse? Remember what I have said regarding converse? I said basically a converse is the reverse of the is the reverse of the theorem. So let me not look at it. Yeah, it's not important. I don't have to look at it. Okay? But you should know. With the converse, you are basically doing your theorem in reverse. Okay? So we're going to leave our midpoint theorem here. Okay. So this is it. Bye. Bye.